Hey guys, so for today's video, I wanted to show you how to make three easy DIY choker necklaces. As you probably know, chokers are so popular right now. They're all over the runways, all over like street style blogs, everywhere. So I thought I would try to make some of my own and give my own little spin on it. And these are super cheap to make. I only bought two rolls of like suede string from Michaels and Hobby Lobby, and I think they were like $2 each. So this is super, super cheap. And I would definitely recommend going this route if you're still trying to like test the choker at necklace waters, if you're not really sure if this trend is for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first choker we're gonna make is a three layered choker. And I found this awesome suede ribbon at Michael's and it has these little gold embellishments as you can see, and it is a brown suede. So I already cut and measured mine, but what I did to measure is I wrapped this around my neck three times and then I left a little excess of the ribbon too because I wanted to be able to tie mine in a bow to keep it secure. I'm not using any jump rings or any hardware today. I wanted to go really, really easy with this DIY, so I'm tying all of my necklaces. And I would recommend putting your hair up too because it just, gets out of your workspace and it just makes your hair not get in the way of everything. I have really long hair, so maybe that's just a problem for myself. So what you wanna do first is put the ribbon around your neck and obviously you want the embellished side to be showing outward. And then to kind of measure to make sure they're lined up evenly, you might have to move this around and just see how they're coming out. So I wrapped it around once and now I have the front pieces brought to the front and those measure up evenly too. And then all you're gonna do next is bring both of those pieces around to the back again. There's different ways you can wear this necklace. You can separate all three of these and kind of like leave some space in between them or you can push all of them together. So a few different looks you can go for. And now what I'm gonna do is tie those in a little bow to keep them secure. So as you can see, this is the finished product. It is super easy, like I said. It takes like 10 seconds to do this. And I think it looks really chic and really kind of edgy too. The next DIY is just as simple as the first one, and it is actually a front-facing bow choker. So you want the bow exposed in this choker, and it takes like 10 seconds to do, it's awesome. So I bought this suede black skinny ribbon from Michaels, and it's really thin as you can see. And I measured this one out already as well, and what I did was just put it around my neck and try to leave a little excess hanging down so I could actually tie the bow and have a little bit of fabric left. So you wanna put it around the back of your neck and bring the two ribbons to the front. Make sure they line up evenly. And this is as simple as tying your shoes. You are literally just going to tie a bow. And you might have to steam this fabric too because it was really rolled up obviously and it was kind of crinkly. So I just, put a piece of like fabric over it so it didn't directly touch the suede and I steamed these a little bit. And this is the finished product. I think this gives off some nice like feminine Western vibes. I don't know, I'm feeling a mix of both of those, but I just thought it was a little bit different and it would look really, really cute with an off the shoulder top. And lastly, we are going to make a black suede lariat necklace. And this is the same material that I just used for the last choker. For measuring this out, you basically want it to be like, I'd say a couple inches longer than your chest. Um, that's how much I did, because I wanted kind of a longer lariat, because those are always the kind of necklaces that you see. So first put the ribbon toward the back of you and then bring it to the front. And make sure it's even when you bring it to the front. And you wanna pinch it kind of higher up. And what you're gonna do is make a loop. And then you're going to pull the two end pieces through the loop. And then move the knot 
kind of to the top as high as it'll go. And you have your choker lariat combination necklace. And you can add beads or charms or anything that you want to these necklaces, but I just kind of wanted to go the simple route and just keep it nice and clean cut. So that is everything for today's DIY choker video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, they were super easy to make and I think they're just a really fun trend right now. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.